Hurricane Florence, the category two storm growing by the minute and it's making its way towards the Carolinas. The governors of both North and South Carolina have declared a state of emergency. By the time the storm makes landfall later this week, it could be a historic category four and the flooding threats will extend inland, not just on the coast. NBC Charlotte meteorologist Aisha Scott now live right now on Wrightsville Beach near Wilmington and Aisha that that town there. It could be in the crosshairs. Wilmington could certainly be in the crosshairs as it is possible that that storm could make a direct hit right here in southeastern North Carolina. Now we're on Wrightsville Beach. You can see the Johnny Mercer's Pier right behind me here. And also if you look in the distance, maybe you could see it. We're starting to see some hints of daylight there. But I want you to take note of the ocean because it is very peaceful out here this morning. We found a few people taking a stroll on the beach, but the waves are starting to uh, become a little bit more intense. But certainly that threat will go up as Florence gets a little bit closer. Now speaking of rip currents, of rip currents through this evening here in Wilmington. Also, UNCW, they're already issuing voluntary evacuations. That's starting at noon, and then classes are canceled after that. But residents here, they've been getting their supplies ready. Now, now North Carolina, South Carolina, and Virginia, all under states of emergency. Let's listen to what Governor, South Carolina Governor Henry McMaster had to say about those preparations. And when it gets here, it's estimated, it may be, this is an estimate, a Category 4 hurricane, which is between 130 and 156 miles an hour. And Hurricane Florence, nothing to play with. Residents certainly need to start getting things prepared if they have not already. If you do have family and friends at the coast, certainly tell them to pay attention to their local media. We'll continue to bring you updates throughout the morning, but for now, reporting live in Wilmington, I'm Aisha Scott. I'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Yeah, now is the time to start getting ready. Aisha, thank you. Yeah, speaking of time, is ticking to get your emergency plan in place. Over the next few days, you want to make sure you have a kit ready to go in case of an emergency. Pack water, batteries, flashlights, that sort of thing first aid kit and any medication you your family or pets may need also important toilet paper a map cash and non perishable foods like granola bars all week we're going to be tracking the latest on hurricane Florence to help you get ready you can find all the updates here on NBC Charlotte or online at WCNC.com plus now a great time to go ahead and download our NBC Charlotte mobile app for alerts in case your power goes out